that close. Rightio. Play about to start in the final term here at Elizabeth Oval, and we've seen a most interesting game. At quarter time, Glenelg led by 22 points, and at one stage of the first quarter, in dry conditions, they looked as though they were getting a strong grip by, when they led by around five goals. But Central's not to be denied, came back in the second term, kicked four goals, four, and led by four points at quarter time. At that stage, Glenelg had only kicked two points in the second term. As it is at the moment, it's only 13 points the difference, favouring Central Districts. Wayne Phillips gets the big knock from the centre bounce to put uh, the Bays in. Blocked by Norsworthy. He kicks for the half-forward line. Buttons on. This is a good move by the Bays, I think, to get a fresh player onto the ground. They've had a couple going pretty ordinary today. Kick off the ground there, attempted by Ken Smith. Rex Voigt takes the ball. He's got it again now. Dropped it. He dropped it. I thought he would have gone for holding the ball. He's been one of the Bays' best today. He's been in everything. One of the few that's done the job for them on the day. Farnham gets up. Gives the ride, but it's missed. Taken now. Punched away there by Vivian. He's had a good day. Voigt again. He'd get my best for the base today. Here's his kick from centre wing. Down towards the forward pocket. Phyllis tries to knock it onto Sandland. That was good football. Sandland steadies and through it goes for a six-pointer. And the Bays are back in this one. Seven goals, seven trailing Central District. 7-14 by seven points. Yes, and a nice piece of coaching by uh, Curly for mine. Buttons on. And for mine, Sandland's on a half-forward flank. And he's got the use of this breeze. He was in the right place, the right player in the right place. He's right over on this side of the ground, and he used the ball well then. A good goal. He has kicked what now? Sandlands two, two goals, and been quiet, but I tell you what, two goals on a day this day like this, valuable. Smart move, too, to bring on a new player at three-quarter time. They had both reserves on the bench, and there must be some very tired players out there. There's the bounce. Farnham in the front position. Gets the tap, Daly. Daly knocks it on towards the half-forward line. Taken by Moss. He's been one of their best today. Had a real good day. Kick off the ground by Ken Smith. Taken by Voigt again. He's in everything. Kicks towards centre-half forward. Phyllis shoves his uh, full back in under the ball in prone. Thought he could have had a free kick, but umpire O'Connell wasn't down there. Clearing kick by Centrals to the half-back line. Spoilt there by Nick. Uh, Vivian, Vivian back in there, handball by Norsworthy. Cassidy knocks it on towards Maury. Maury can't handle a wet ball, it's raining again heavily, goes on hands and knees trying to get the ball. Hand pass out of the pack is not a good one towards Hockridge. Going back in after it is Rawson. He's playing at centre half forward, and as Wally told you, the Bays have made the good move in bringing their Sandlin out to the attacking half forward flank. There's Farnham, gets the tap down again. Central District with a clearing kick towards the centre of the ground and in front, it's oh. no play on called and it'll be a bounce at midfield. There's umpire O'Connell telling that it came off hands. Moss not happy about it at all. The throw up. Wayne Phyllis got the tap down. They're hanging on to the Central District player there in Norsworthy. I thought he could have had a free kick. Rawson's got the ball, loses it. Rosewarn's got it. Kicks it towards centre half forward. Picked up quickly going in towards goals there is Osborn. His long kick into the square. And running now out of bounds in the left full forward pocket. We've had three minutes of the final term with the score Central District 7-14, leading Glenelg 7-7 by seven points. Don't forget our Channel 9 footy show at 12 noon tomorrow, hosted by Elton Crouch. We'll have Dennis Jones in from Central Districts to tell the coach's side of this one. Throw in takes place. Picked up quickly here by Glenelg in uh, Osborne. Over to Phyllis. A long one to Marker. Marker with a left foot jams his boot into the ball, but it goes Ooh. out of bounds on the full. It's all Glenelg at the moment, Wally May. And that about that, they've got the use of the breeze for sure. And they've got the right players out on this side of the ground. Number eight, you see Marker and Sandlands, two valuable players, and they know where to get if they can find them. Central Districts are in bother. Next to bring the ball back into play. Kick's not a bad one either, right up towards the half-back flank. Osborne puts his hand up, can't do much else, comes back, has possession, straightens, breaks away, there goes the kick, right up towards the square, back there is Swinstead, and Swinstead cuts the ball across for one behind. They've got Daly out there on, on his own at the moment, they want to get the ball there quickly, Central District, it's too late now, the mob's out there and uh, time's slipped away. Trying to bring the ball back into play. Left foot, not a bad kick either, oh, actually, under the conditions. It's a ripper. Goes right out. Gasly tried to tap it forward. He's overdone this tap business this afternoon, and it's been marked by Rosewarn. Rosewarn straightens up, sends oh. it across the centre half forward. Very simple. Mark dropped by Morgan. He recovers well, gives it to Marker. Marker kicks forward. Mulholland tried to take it. Across there is Boyd. He's the danger man. Bangs away, and Vanelva got their second goal in the fourth quarter. 
Well, Boyd, a very, very valuable player. A beauty. Three goals on the board. 19 kicks. He's as game as Ned Kelly. He'll go anywhere to get a kick. This is the type of player that can pull you out of the suit on a day like this. There's not much in it. 56-56. We've played five minutes. And Glenelg have got the use of the breeze, if any. Five minutes, Mark. Final term. Rex Boyd would be my best for the base today. He's been in everything and one of the few that's given them four quarters. And there's not too many that have. Hockridge is beaten there by Cassidy, the centre player, getting the knock towards centre-half forward. Mobs is beaten for pace here by Ken Smith. Gets away for the base. Kicks to the centre of the ground. And the good mark taken here by number six for the Bays is Osborne. Osborne plays it on wide to the half-forward flank. Finds Morgan. Oh, he's slow. Too slow. Though he gets a kick on, and it's a good one, and taken here by Rawson. He's kicked a goal, and he's in the ideal position. If he's to kick another one, he's got the breeze at his back. It's a cross breeze, favouring this northern goal to which he's kicking, and he'd be 45, 50 yards from the goal. He hasn't allowed enough of the breeze. It's screw punt. Tapped away. Taken by Julian Swinstead. Clears from the back pocket for Central District. Out past the scoreboard. Half back flank. Taken here by Marker. He's another one that's done well for them today. Picked up. Kicked by Sonny Morey from the half back flank. Up towards the centre half forward position. Say well dwelled on the ball. You can't do it. Coming through is Caldwell. Gets a shove. Gets the handball on. Finds Colby. Colby goes towards the half forward line. Hockridge goes up. Number five. He's had a much better second half. Then he's first, taken by Mulholland. He kicks to the centre of the ground, finds Vivian. He's one of their best. He'd have to be in their best two or three for Centrals today. Played particularly well at centre wing, had much the better of Morgan. Kicks towards centre half forward, dropped by Skinner. He hasn't had the best of days. Missed there by Button. Comes now to Norsworthy. He's a danger. Shoots it in towards the goal. This is going to be close. And it bounced the wrong way as far as Centrals were concerned for one point, taking them to a lead of one point. Well, you're quite right with Vivian. He's had 21 kicks, and there's another player that's done well for them in Norsworthy, just missing. They haven't given up. They lead by a point. There's still plenty left in it. We've played six minutes. Corball to bring the ball back into play. He goes round the outer side of the oval. Good direct kick finds Marker. Marker plays on immediately, sends it down, tacking, but it's been marked here by Tony Castle, acting captain for Central Districts. He directs play back down towards Saywell. Oh, Saywell, two fights for Terry. Good mark there. It was a greasy ball. Came back, plays on immediately. Up the way of Mulholland. Mulholland waits for the ball to come to him. Screws onto his left foot. There's no one up there. This mark taken away here by Button. Button onto his left foot. Sends it towards the left half back flank. Here's a battle royal coming across here as Vivian comes across. Takes possession. Comes back on around onto his left foot. Straightens up. Now goes to the drop kick onto his right foot. Out the way. Finds a teammate over there in number nine, which is John. John's kick goes in towards the right foot. And it's been marked by Mulholland. Well, Central District coming back hard now after Glenelg banged on two goals in the first five minutes. Mulholland, 27 kicks. Not a bad effort in the forward pocket. A cute angle. Could do it from there, though. This is certainly a breathtaking sight as he goes in. It floats across. No one home. It goes across the other side. Lyle Skinner's in there. Could get the hand pass to Sonny Moore if he can get possession. Tried to balk back into his opponent. Sonny Moore, has it now. Jams onto his boot. High kick goes right up towards the square. Up in the air goes O'Connor. Can't control it. Barnum's in there too. O'Connor pats it along. Pats it forward. Gives it to Mulholland. Mulholland tries to get away with it. Hopkins very slow. In there is O'Connor with boot strength. And this is what you want. In there is Northworthy. Tries to take position. Can't do so. It's not Northworthy actually. It's uh, young Johns. Battle of players go on and a bounce down will take place just about 10 yards off the square. Quite the Ooh. difference, Central's lead. The tap is taken by Hockridge, it's picked up here by O'Connor. O'Connor tries to jam it onto his boot. Ray Button's back there and Ray Button with dry hands has marked the ball. This move paying off for the Bays. This would be the fourth time that he's had a touch in the opening minutes of his final term. Came on at three-quarter time. There goes the kick out towards the half-back flank. It's taken off hands by Laurie Rosewood. State player against Victoria. Sends it down towards the left wing. Across there is Big Farnham. Oh, that could have been a kicking in danger. Battling away with possession. The ball is off. And the quick hand pass goes out to his teammate there. In number nine, which is Rawson. Rawson kicks towards the left half forward bank. And a good mark taken by Fairclough. And he's in a lot of trouble, actually. He was hurt just before three-quarter time. I saw Jones test him in the three-quarter period. Had a good look at him. But he's on one leg. See what he can do now as he kicks this ball forward. They need big men at the moment. There goes the kick. Oh, that hurt. Falls to the ground. No one up there. Marker allowed to go up unopposed. In there is little Mulholland using his body well, but also is Harry Kernahan. Picked up in defence by Smith. 
He sends it over. Well, high in the air went Button. Rosewarne has it. He's met heavily by Nix. The kick goes out towards the right half forward flank. Across there is Skinner and Ainsby. Ainsby's a flyer, there's no doubt about that. Kicked off the ground well by Colby. In there goes Swinstead. He's played a great game. Nix is in there also. The ball bounces awkwardly for that player. But he still keeps after it and dogged like fashion. It's kicked off the ground by Glenelg. Ainsby has it. Hand passes to Colby. Colby with a long kick. It's on its way. Phyllis tries to use his body. It goes away of Sandland. Sandland jams his boots to the ball, but it goes out of bounds on the full volley mate. One point, the difference from Glenelg. In attack again. Two, three kicks and they're down there and they look good. Central District's got to tighten up on this defence. They lead and they won't give up. We saw Nick's on his hands and knees diving for the ball that game and up Central. Crone's kick at the 10-minute mark, final term, up to the half-back line in front for Central Districts, shoveling the handball out. Kick away by Sonny Morey, deep to the half-back line, trying to find Cassidy there for Central Districts. Couldn't do so, and it'll be a throw-in over on the far side. Don't forget our Channel 9 footy show tomorrow at 12 noon. Wayne Phyllis, number 20 in ruck for, and number 20, Farnham for Central Districts, gets the tap down, comes to Rosewater. He doubles back. Long handball over, looking for Morgan, but it fell too far short. Mulholland trying to work Aaron the ball done. forward. Oh. Very strong play from him, but uh, unfortunately for him, goes to the ground, and it'll be ball up from umpire O'Connor. Throws it up. This will help Farnham. Yes, he gets the tap, but playing on the check side, Rosewarn. Kicks it to the half-forward line. Voigt trying to play from behind. Takes the ball with him. Tried to balk, perhaps trying to do too much, but no, he gets a strong kick. This is going to land in the square. Sandland's got it, and it's a good mark right in the square. Now, where will he have to take this from? A hard decision for umpire O'Connell because he was running as he took it. And I'd say that would be a pretty fair guess on a 45-degree angle. He's on the right side of the ground. This is an important one for the Bays. He's kicked one. You can hear the hush around the ground. He's kicked two, Wally May tells me. He's kicked three. And it's a handy one at the 11-minute mark for the Bays, and they go to a five-point lead. And a good move again, I say it, by Neil Curley. Sandland beaten at centre-half forward, slipped out onto the flank. Andrews has gone with him, but he's a dangerous player. He's had 11 kicks. He's kicked three goals on a day like this, and he's just put Glenelg in front, and they've got the use of the breeze. Well, Ian Aitken correctly picked the breeze in the first half and Wally May correctly picked the break in the breeze after half-time. I've got no doubts in saying now it's favouring the northern end and Central District used it to its full in the third term. Here's the tap down at centre. Central's won't be denied, but it's picked up here by Wayne Phyllis. Kick forward towards centre, half-forward. Sandlin tries to take a diving one-handed mark and so too did his Central District opponent in Andrews. These two had some good marking duels early in the day. Here's the throw up, Kernahan in front, but again, Farnham gets it down. Cassidy with a handball out of the pack, missed by O'Connor, taken by Rosewarn. Rosewarn's long kick, it's in the square. Phyllis running straight towards the goal. Voigt there, and it's great through for a goal. Wally May, what a goal. Well, how was that? 50, 60 yards. How did Voigt leave it alone? I tell you what, the right decision, and through she goes. Well, this makes a lot of difference to the game now. A handball then by Cassidy to nothing. Rosewarn with 23 kicks has kicked the goal from the centre of the ground. For mine, he's beaten Cassidy, and that was a mistake. You've got to kick the ball on a day like this. What a magnificent kick that was. Through for six points just when they needed it. He's another one that's done the job for the base today, Rosewarn. What a magnificent kick. The centre bounce, the big chap gets up again. Gets it down for Central District. Cassidy in the front position, trying to do everything. Gets it out to Norsworthy. Oh, unfortunate for Central's then. That penalised him. O'Connor's got the free kick. At any rate, here's his kick to the half-forward line. Colby makes the front position in front of Skinner. It'll be a throw-in in front of our Channel 9 telecasting point. 10-8 Glenelg, 7-15 Central District. We're at the 12-and-a-half-minute mark final term. Throw-in to take place, right half-forward flank. Farnham. Farnham gets the tap. It'll be taken away here by Smith. The kick is smothered off by Norsworthy. That's courage. Smith comes back after the ball. Ragwolf not in possession. Umpire calls play on. Mobs gets a hand pass over to his teammate there, and John skits the ground. Taken away here by Wayne Phillips, and quite right to show the free kick will go the way of Wayne Phillips. All Central District certainly badly need to get a goal to keep their morale up at the moment as Phillips kicks in towards the centre of the ground. Marker took the miss the most, wasn't Marker, it was Crab. Taken here by Sonny Morey. He bangs the ball right up towards the square. Sable tries to take it from behind. Coming away there is Button. Button slips over at the wrong time. The ball goes out the way of O'Connor. O'Connor with a hand pass out towards Cassidy. 
Gasly limping badly at the moment. He taps the ball onto the ground. Taken away here by Moss. Moss is uh, emptied out. Phyllis is in there. Mulholland dropped the ball. Play umpl umpire has been at two. And Harry Kernahan has been awarded the free kick from the back pocket. Kernahan, last line of defence. Badly need a goal at the moment, the Bulldog. There goes the kick from Kernahan. Dropped short. Big Barnum. Couldn't control it though. It goes out. Taken away here by John. <coughs> Here's a kick at centre half back. Norsworthy had the ball. He's lost it. Taken by Moss. Moss kicks up towards centre wing and finds a teammate there. Wasn't allowed to go on with it. That's Osborne. Osborne now for the base. Puts it to the centre of the ground. Taken away here by Rawson. Rawson ducks away. Morey tried to take it off the boot. Taken away here by Fred Phyllis. He goes for the short kick towards the left half forward flank. Picked up well. Back the go of Phyllis. Phyllis loses control of it. Met heavily by Crone, but good work, Fred Phyllis. Kept his eye on the ball all the time. Still couldn't control it. Marker's in there. It's kicked away in defence by Fairclough. He's in a lot of trouble. Vivian's in there. Well played, Vivian. Phyllis is all over the top of uh, Vivian, and he should have got a kick for that one. And by golly, Wally, they could play heavily if they keep Fairclough on the ground. He's got to come off now. This is the second time he's been down. Phyllis gets the kick. It gets the punch. Trying to take it away is Davis. Davis gets the boot into it. Mulholland comes after it. Very close to the boundary line. It's taken away here by Morgan. But the ball has been forced out of bounds from... Jones is on and fair close off. Big Jones is on the ground. I think that's a move that should have been made 15 minutes ago, uh, Wally. Yes. Evidently, fair foul wasn't right at three-quarter time. Here he is in your screen at the moment, coming off, and they had a big, fresh, fit Ruckman there in Jones on the bench. Barnum gets a tap. It goes out the way of O'Connor. Couldn't get control of it, but it's been awarded the kick. He wasn't. He was held whilst not in possession. Jones has gone the full forward and Sable's on the ball as a ruckman. Not a bad move either as Big Rod O'Connor bangs the boot into the ball. Mobs backs into his opponent. It comes out the way of Cassidy. Cassidy hand passes again by Gion. Prepared to say that he's overdoing it now. Sable gets it over. It's taken away here by Johns. Uh, by, it's uh, towards oh. centre half forward. Across down goes Skinner. Skinner chases after the ball. Can't get possession. Terry Crabb all well ridden by Skinner. Got a ball to it too. Well done. Goes out towards the left half forward flank. Northworthy's across there. Also is Ray Butler. Murray backs up well, pats it along, has control. He'll have to come back, does so onto his left foot. Goes for a short kick out the way of Norsworthy. Whoa. Coming down hard as Cornwall. Norsworthy, Norsworthy didn't shirk it. One bit. Well done. He sends it out towards it. Wasn't it? Glenelg bring it out towards the half forward bank. Voigt, one of the best men on the ground, got emptied out. Worked forward. Now over there trying to take possession is Osborne. Osborne shovels it out to try and find a teammate. Osborne comes back after possession for the ball. Linnell battling along desperately now. Going in there is O'Connor. Picked up by Rexy Boyk. Well done, Boyk. Held while stopped in possession. will have to take a free kick. Central District makes the mistake at the moment by tackling the player without the ball. And it's the Bays who are running on at the moment, playing front position and getting the free kick. 21 kicks to Rexy Boyd. A very, very valuable effort. And must be your best man on the ground for mine with three goals. Here's his kick down to full forward. Over the head of the pack. Ainsbury's the opportunity player there. He's taken to the ground, holding the ball, say the central fan. Knows his umpire O'Connell. He'll throw it up 45 yards from the bay goals. Farnham gets the tap down on the check side. The body's going hard. Phyllis has got his body over the ball. Handball out is good, but oh, unfortunately for Central District, the whistle had gone. Just when Mulholland looks set to take it away. Here's the throw up. Farnham with a tap down again, but it's pretty congested. Taken by Mulholland, works it onto his boot. Oh, coming through, Marker, a good mark, and he's played well today. He's got the short one, he tries to work it over, trying to find his teammate in Morgan. Morgan hasn't had the best of days, but to give him his credit, he's stuck to his task. Hasn't given up trying all day. Only a youngster. Hasn't played very many league games for the Bays. Here's his kick, it's a strong one. Falling short of the square. And it's the Bay player in front. The mark hasn't been paid. Play on's called Dent. Phyllis tries to have a shot. Swung off his feet. Picked up there by Big O'Connor. He's kicked it high into the air. It may have gone 10 yards. Off hands. Central's player with a handball back to O'Connor again. Blocked off the boot. Picked up by Central Districts. Nix it was trying to take it away. And he's going to get... No, no free kick. Kicked away by Andrews towards centre half back. Skinner here. Got the ball. Tackle him. Threw it away, tried to take it through the half-back line from half-back up towards centre wing. Mobs has got the ball there. He was in the play in the first quarter, dropped out of it a fair, fair bit since then. Kicks to the forward line, tries to find his teammate here in Daly. Daly's got it, snaps it back in towards the goal. Jones is there, goes past his hand and will bounce through for one behind. Jones under the ball then, Central Districts now 7-16.
trailing Ronald ten. I can't see it for the moment. The lads are in the way, but Ronald looks a good. Ronald ten eight. Claw ball to go to the outer side of the oval. There goes the drop pin, the drop punt. It goes out the way of Marker, and Marker has marked. Good possession and good play by Peter Marker on the right half back flank. Moves in. That's his 21st kick. I'm just told by Wally May. Kernahan tried to knock it on. Taken away by Central Districts per the Avenue of Mori. He can't get over and pick it up. Picked up now well by Marker. Marker sends it in towards the centre of the ground. Vivian waits for the ball to come to him. He has possession now. Moves round. He's a speech to this boy. Sends it deep in the way of Jones. And Jones oh, could have marked but didn't do so. Ball battles on for desperation. It comes out the way of Mulholland. Mulholland tries to control it. He's battling against his own teammates. Johns has it. John straightens up. There goes the kick. And it's a beauty. here by Wayne Phyllis. Backed up well as uh, Harry Kernahan gets tackled. Coming away there is Nix. Nix has possession but can't control the ball. Up there is uh, Kenny Smith. Gets emptied out of the way. Players throwing themselves on with sheer desperation. It comes out. Here's the opportunity for Norsworthy. Norsworthy gets a hand pass back to O'Connor. Good football. O'Connor sends it forward towards the right half forward flank. Oh, it goes over. Skinner hand passes to Mob. Here's the opportunity. Mobs has lost the possession at the crucial time. He's going up and down on the one spot. Taken here by Ray Button. Ray Button coming away and Central's look very tired. As Button moves it in towards the centre of the ground. Rex Boyd gives a bullet like hand pass over to Lowe's. Rosewarn, Rosewarn down the way of Ainsbury. Ainsbury has the Davis coming in for shoot after him. Governor's back there is a boy. He tries to get the hand pass out to a teammate. Going across there is Cassily. Taps it back to Davis. Davis will go back the way of Cassily. Cassily going up and down on the one spot also. He pats it off the ground. He can't do anything else other than pat it at the moment. Players throw themselves on with sheer abandon. And a bounce down will have to take place in the right half forward flank. 21 minute mark, final term, anyone's game here at Elizabeth. The Bays needing the game desperately to keep in the final four with Norwood winning out at the parade. There's the tap down by the big chap Farnham. Voigt tries to burrow his way into the turf to grab that ball. He's still got it. Maury tackles him, throws him to the ground. Wind is not a strong influence now. No, it's died right out of it. You're quite right, Ian. There's uh, Wayne Phyllis back. He's way into the pack. Knocked the Central District Ruckman out of it, Farnham. Thought he might have had the kick for a moment. He's back into it. Playing well for a big chap. There's uh, Crab, number 15. Gets it out to Rose Warren. He hooks it around his body. Comes to Nix. He mishandled on this occasion. He's got it. They seem to hang on to him. Taken away by Central District. Cleared from that back pocket through Davis. Up towards centre half back. Taken here by Johns. He doubles back. Got away from Moss. Oh, he gets around him. Shrugs clear from the centre of the ground. Goes towards centre half forward. Button waits for it. He's got it. He's played well. This has been a good move by Neil Curley. Kicks towards centre half forward. Sandland up against Andrews. Off hands comes to Marker. Marker drops it onto his boot. Goes down to full forward. Crone's running with the ball and it goes through for one behind to take Central Dis uh, takes the base five points clear. Well, we've played 23 minutes. Marker has had 23 kicks. Button, very valuable, as you've been told, is kicking 50 yards every time he gets it. This Central Districts are not doing. Crone kicks in. This is a game that could decide the final four in the final essence, in the final wash-up. There it comes down to Hockridge. Haven't seen much of him in this last Ooh. turn. Kicks into the forward pocket. Hand pass goes the wrong way. Taken here and out of it comes Osborne. Into the forward pocket. Voigt got it there. Seemed to drop the ball as he was tackled. Now he gets bowled over from behind. Umpire O'Connell content to let things run on in this last term with things which would have been penalised earlier in the game going unchecked. There's the other Bay Reserve warming up on the sidelines. It's Kale. Farnham gets the tap out towards Mulholland. Mulholland's got the run of the ball. Kicks it to the half-back line. Good bumping exchange here between Wayne Phyllis and his Central District's opponent. Taken and a handball across from Ro Rosewarn over towards Colby. Oh, oh look at the bodies go in. Uh, Sonny Morey comes back into the play for Central District. Taken by the Bays. Short kick running down towards their half-forward line. Picked up handball away here from Cassily. Taken by Rosewarn. He's bowled over by uh, Vivian. A good bump. And it'll be a bounce here at half-forward right. Five points the difference, the Bays lead, grabbed by Farnham. He was going to try and handball it away. He in turn was grabbed. 
kick by Osman and a free kick to the Central District, which is a very popular one with the Central District. O'Connor. O'Connor takes the ball, kicks to the center of the ground. Off hand, that's Skinner trying to knock it on, but it's knocked on by Button. He's been a damaging force for the base. Look at him cut it through center half forward. He's come right from the back lines, kicks to full forward, tried to smother it. Boyd's got it in the forward pocket, doubles back. He's tackled, tries to get it to Fred Phyllis. He'll dummy it on, gives it to Boyd. Boyd has a shot, takes the big bump, shoots, and it's oh! for a goal. And what a game this boy's played. The best effort I've ever seen from him. A real good game, Wally. Four goals in the game of skulls you could ever see. There was a big body coming straight at him. And what did he see? He saw the gap between the goals, put the ball through it, and whack with his 22nd kick. Fourth goal, through it goes, and down he goes. A magnificent goal. Ball being relayed back into the central, into the centre of the ground. Square there's the scoreboard, Glenelg, 11 goals, 9, Central Districts, 8 goals, 16, and it'll be a near miracle now if Central Districts got out and won this. They'd need two goals, only uh, just about to go into the time on period. There's the throw up in the centre, Barnum gets a tap two, it's knocked away in the centre by, uh, by Mobs, it comes out the way of Vivian, Vivian tries to control it, ducks back, Jones comes in and shepherds it off, well done Jones. Well done, Vivian. He sends it up towards centre half forward. You can say this, they're not quitting Central District. Skinner goes in. Either is uh, Glenelg. As it's picked up, push forward there by Harry Kernahan. That's allowed to go on. Trying to take it away. It comes out the way of Cassidy. Cassidy knocks it forward. It goes out the way of John. John barges off. There goes the kick. It's not a good one. Goes out the way of Northworthy. But it's out of bounds in the right full forward pocket. And the Central District has still got a very, very slight chance, but it's very slight. We just go into the time on period, and they are nine. Is it nine? Yes, nine points behind. Throw in, right full forward pocket. Up goes Big Jones. Taken away here by Wayne Phyllis. Smothered off the kick. Well done. Take up by Lord. Oh, really? Oh, a great goal, Wally May. A ripper. Did you see that? Nowhere to put that ball to. He picks it up, bangs through the centre. And Northworthy puts them back into it. This has been the game of games. There's no doubt about that. Northworthy has been a game player all day. Has got his first goal on the board. The difference now, four points. Don't forget our Channel 9 footy show at 12 noon tomorrow. You'll see Dennis Jones, the Central's coach, and Fred Phyllis from the base discussing this big game. The bounce at centre. Wayne Phyllis gets the tap down. It's taken away by Maury as we've had 60 seconds of time on. His kick down to the full forward position. Tapped across by Button over towards Kernahan. The handball across finds Corwell. Corwell from the back pocket out towards the half back line. Off hands have come from Terry Crabb. The handball across from Rawson. The handball up towards centre wing. Dropped there by the big chap in Hockridge, his kick towards centre half forward, over the missed by Davis, picked up there by Swinstead, running the wrong way gave it to his teammate, trying to barge his way through there for the Bays, Sam then was pushed aside, Swinstead kicks it off the ground, out towards the half back line tried to trap it off the ground Sandlin's got it, Davis has got it for Central District, drops it onto his boot, comes up towards the half back line, Mulholland's got it, they tackle him, Rawson it was Mulholland's got it again, goes to ground, and it'll be a bounce almost at midfield with only five points the difference, Glenelg leading. And at the moment, that's the five points that could keep them in their position in the final four. The bounce at centre, tapped down by Central District through Farnham, out towards Vivian, he's been one of their best. Here's their chance, they go down to full forward. Sable gets up high, can't pull it down. Oh, Central District player bowled over, no free kick. Taken, kicked away. Hard by Maury. Maury going in towards an open goal. He shoots. This is going to be close, but no. Fading away and out into the forward pocket. Oh, out in the full two once more. This, is, a, this is not a place for fart, faint hearts, uh, Wally May. No, sir. They've played three minutes of time on. There's five points of difference as the ball comes back. Ball, ball brings play. the ball back into play. Out towards the right half back flank. A pack of players go up. It's taken away here by John. Gets a hand pass over the way of Mulholland. Bay Holland tackle while not in yes. position. He has to take a free kick. Oh, I tell you what, if he kicks this, I'll make him the crown prince of Adelaide. Yeah. Central Districts, Bill, but they'll certainly won't. Mal Holland has got the chance. Ooh, Ooh, he's he's won. Won. One goal on the board, he's a long, long way out. Very little breeze at the moment. Moving in, let's have a look at this. There it goes, it looks kick. a beauty! point the difference, Central District lead and we've had four minutes of time on and that is the point that could cost, now cost the Bays a chance for the final four and it's going seesawing backwards and forwards in the stand here at Elizabeth, 
they're frantic. They're all standing up, chanting. The big chappie gets it down. It comes to uh, Vivian. Vivian's kick down towards the half forward line. Ray Button streaks to the ball. Comes to Daly. Daly works it around his body. In towards the forward pocket. Kernahan's after it. Kernahan sees it go out of bounds in front of him. Could be a costly miss. It'll be a throw in in the forward pocket. Central District attacking and leading by one point. 10-16 to Glenelg, 11-9. We've had four and a half minutes of time on. Here's the throw in. Kernahan up, two hands. Knocks it down. Gathered by Mulholland, the hero. He kicks it into the forward pocket. Mark is there. He'll play it on. He'll have to play it on with time against the ball. Goes towards the half back. Central District have won. They've won it. And that one's really going to cost the base dearly. Now they're on your Channel 9 screen. Let's see if we can pick up Dennis Jones. There he is. He's had a pretty disappointing year at times. There's Dennis Jones in your Channel 9 screen, and they're frantic. They've won this one at Elizabeth by one point with five minutes of time on gone. And what a scene we're seeing. You'd think they'd won a premiership. And good luck to them too. They looked as though they were done with about, what, four minutes to go. They were two goals down here, and they got out of it. Over to Ian Aitken for a comment. Fantastic exhibition there by Central Districts. They look shot to pieces with five minutes to go, and a courageous performance by every player in the Central Districts. This was a great game out here at the Elizabeth Oval. And the end, of course, that's the game that should cost the Bays a chance in the Ford. Norwood look as though they've won out at the parade today and won easily, so there's only one game the difference in that final four is anything but settled. Quick comment from Wally May. Due to the two Rovers for Central Districts, they kicked the two goals and put them in front. Norsworthy with his 15th kick a goal, Mulholland from a free kick from his 29th a goal. A good effort by a little fella. Right, what a game it's been here at the Elizabeth Oval. Don't forget to join us in the Channel 9 football show when Elton Crouch, who picked today's game amid some opposition from other commentators, he's got the match of the day. He'll be in charge tomorrow, Sunday, and you'll be seeing Dennis Jones and what a pleased man he is and Freddie Phyllis from the Bays discussing this game. A point win the Central Districts. You've been viewing on Channel 9, your commentators, Ian Aitken, former Claremont player, Wally May, former Sturt champ, and yours truly, Max Hall, signing off.